When writing scripts for Blender, you'll often need to list or select objects in your scene, or get a list of selected objects. In this video, we'll cover snippets of code that you can use for this. Getting a list of objects in your scene is a fairly common task, so let's take a look at how to do that first. We access the list of objects in the scene by using the data submodule of the VPY library. This command returns a list of objects in your scene, which you can then use to access those objects' attributes, such as their name. To access a specific object by name, you can query the data.object module like a dictionary, with the object name as a key. This returns a single Python object, which you can then use to access its attributes as well. You can also get a list of just the selected objects in your scene. When querying the objects that are selected, we are querying the state of the scene rather than what objects it contains. So rather than use the data submodule, we'll need to use the context submodule. In this example, we get a list of selected objects and then cycle through the selected items in the list to find the camera. There are important considerations, however, that must be taken into account when getting objects via Python, and this has to do with how items in the scene are managed in the API. Many items in Blender are represented in two parts, the object part and the data part. The object part contains general information common to most 3D objects, such as its location, rotation, and selection state. The data part of the item contains information specific to that type of item. You can see a representation of this in the outliner. The top orange item is the object, whereas the bottom green icon is the data. We can see this mirrored in the API. For example, if we query the object for the camera, we can print out its location. But if we try and print its lens value, we get an error. This is because the Python object returned by querying the scene represents the overall Blender object. To access the camera-specific attributes, we need to query the object's data attribute. This is the same for various types of objects in our scene. For example, if we select a mesh, we can access its location at the object level and its polygons at the data level. The API includes a shortcut for accessing the data component of each item directly if you only want the data objects for a specific type. You can find out which object types are available via the Python console by typing the bpy.data and then hitting the tab key. You can also find a list of them in the API documentation. We can get a list of only meshes in our scene by accessing the meshes attribute of the data module. Note that this only returns a list of the data for each item, so we can query the data-specific attributes such as the mesh's polygons in this example, but we cannot access the object-level data such as its location. For that reason, it's often better to get the whole object and tunnel down to the data as needed, unless you're sure you don't need to use the object-level information. If you want to select objects programmatically, you can do this by calling the object's select set method. For example, if we wanted to select all meshes in our scene, we start by getting a list of objects in the scene. We then cycle through all the objects, and if the type is mesh, we call the select set method on that object and pass it an argument of true. Note that the select set method, like other object level attributes, are only available at the object level. We try to run those on data objects, such as those returned by data.meshes, we get an error. If we return to the command for listing out the objects in our scene, and we print out the list of object names, notice that it returns objects for our meshes, lights, and cameras, but it does not include the collections they live in. This is because not all items in our scene contain information at the object level. Some common examples of these are collections and materials. They don't have any representation in our 3D view, so therefore they don't require object level attributes. To access these, you can query their data type. For example, if we want a list of collections in our scene, we could just query the collections attribute on the data module. Likewise, we can get a list of materials in our scene by querying the materials attributes. Of course, if we type it right. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.